everyone, it's Lisa, and today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw a horse. The first thing that I'm going to do is plan my paper. So I'm going to put the horse's face here, and she's going to be looking down. And the horse's neck will be here, and the horse's body will be here, and then we'll have four legs. So this one pointing straight down, this one is lifted off to the side, and then this back leg also pointed straight down, but not as long as this one. And then a back leg, which is uh, back a bit and lifted also. So this just helps me plan my page to make sure I have enough room for everything. And now I'm going to get started. I'm going to start off by drawing the horse's face. And what I'm going to do is draw the forehead. So it's going to come down a little curve and then straight out over the snout and then the nose area which curves right around into the um, the lip where the mouth is closed and then the bottom jaw coming around like this so this is a narrower part of the horse's face and then the wider part so there we have um, the whole shape of the face and we'll just draw an upside down teardrop shape here for the nose and just show the nostril coming along here. Now I'm going to have the horse looking um, behind her, so I'm going to draw uh, right in the middle of this section here, I'm going to draw a, a teardrop shape, or an eyeball shape I guess, it is an eyeball, so it's going to go curve this way, and then curve this way. So this is the eye, and I'm going to put eyelashes on my horse at the top here, and I'll draw the direction that she's looking, just pointing down here. So now because her head is pointed down, her ear is going to be pointed out to the side here. So just after the corner of the eye, we're going to go up here and draw an ear shape. So it's going to have a little bit of a downward curve, pointing out. So I went down and under, and then a small point out and then I'm going to curve around the top of the ear like this and I'm going to show also the like the inside of the ear and the outside because this is sort of we can see into her ear a little bit here underneath so now I'm going to draw the mane and forelock well no I'll just draw the forelock first just coming from here and just curving down over the top of her face and coming back from here just curving down over the top you can just see that these hairs will meet up down around the middle area of her face and you might just draw another little piece of forelock there and then the mane is going to come up and around this way and before we draw that in we're just going to show where the horse's neck is going to be so it's going to be a curved line that just comes up and over like this so I can't see the whole thing just yet because I'm going to be bringing some of the hair uh, of the mane down in this direction here that's the first line for the mane and then it's just going to continue with these sorts of lines coming up from here so I'll just show how those go so that's the bottom of the mane so I've drawn the neck and the bottom of the mane and all of this is coming from the area where the forelock is so I'm just going to now bring all of this hair and mane swooping its way along from here. So you might want to just bring a little bit of hair down on this side. It's up to you how you, which direction your horse's hair is sort of flowing. Alright, so now we're ready to draw the torso and the body. So I'm going to come up here into the curve of the horse's jaw and I'm just going to draw a small line under here to show the neck because now I'm going to start thinking about the body and the legs. And what I'm actually going to do is start working on this front leg first. So I'm going to draw where the leg muscles attach into the torso area of the horse and then I'm going to start drawing the different sections of the horse's leg. So we've got this one coming down and then this one also curving out and down. And then it's narrower here because we're just about to put in this knee section. So we've come in and now we're going to draw the knee and then we're in again coming straight down like this toward the ankles which are going to go out again and to the back again. This one is maybe a little bigger and this one's a little smaller and then the hoof. So for that I'm just going to draw out 
and then down and curve around like this and then show the hoof section there. So this is the whole front leg coming down and that helps us find the position now for this chest section. So the horse's chest comes in behind like this. All right, looking good. And so now we're ready to draw the part that where the other leg is. So we're first gonna draw this little muscle here coming, but the horse's leg is lifted, so it's gonna curve a little bit gently towards here. And then it's gonna come out again, another little bump. And then we're ready to go into the shape. Now, here we're just going to go along with a curve for the knee, like there's a knee here bumping out. But in this case, it's just curving. It's going to come in a bit close and then come out again toward the bottom, toward the ankle, and then we'll come back up here and we'll think about how wide we want this to be. First we'll bring the belly up a little further and now this leg is coming from underneath her body. It's going to show just the top of the leg here and we're curving in toward this little um, hinge in the knee. So this line here is just going to connect back up to underneath and then this line is going to curve its way down towards the ankle. So I just went in a bit and back out and now I'll draw the hoof on this leg and this one since it's lifted the hoof is pointing back a bit so this line will go angled down and then curving around toward here and a little line across the top. So now we have the two front legs of the horse and we've got the body of the horse and now I'm going to show how the horse's back end is and it's just going to come up and over like this and then down toward this leg. So now you can see we're ready to think about another leg. But before we do that I want to finish the belly shape. So I'm going to bring this line up and up and up and up. It's going to look really skinny here but that's because the curve of the horse's stomach comes up toward the back. So this is now where the back leg is going to be and you hardly see any of that section of the leg because the horse is pointed away from us. Right away we're going to see the backward kicking knee. I don't know, is this the knee? I never know what parts are of, of these animals but we're just going to go up and then down like this and then this from here we're going to go back down quite a ways and we're going to draw a line that's going to come under to here. So it's going to be like an S, curves down and over. So that will connect us to the other section of this back leg and we're getting all ready to the ankle section so we're just going to come out a bit for the ankles and now for the hoof. So this one is pointing toward the ground mostly and I'll draw the top line of the hoof there. So this leg is, is um, lifted a bit and we just have one leg left. This one's easiest to do because it's just going to come like a curve straight down to the ankle. So from here I'm going to curve in toward the line I drew and then I'm going to come straight down to the ankle and then I'm going to come back up here pretty much where this other leg is touching and we're going to make a knee kicking back. So we're going to go down and out to about here and then we're going to come in and down to about here and then I'll draw an ankle coming forward, an ankle going backward and a hoof also on the ground. So similar shape to this other one that we drew. Just curve it around and back and then we'll go across this way to show the hoof and all that's left now is the tail. So you can draw a nice big fantasy tail on your horse if you like. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start the tail here and I'm going to make it come all the way around behind the horse and come all the way around behind the horse and it's going to come back towards the back. And then we'll just draw some little lines in here in the tail. All right, so that's it. Now I'm going to trace all my lines with marker and color my horse. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw this horse and I hope you drew one too. And I would love it if you would comment below, tell me about the horse that you drew. And if you liked this video, 
please click, click like, because that will help other people find me on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting up new videos, and I even take subscriber requests. So if you have something that you would like me to draw, let me know, and I'll see if I can find time to draw it.